To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon and download our app OneFin to start learning on the go. Mr. A purchased a 3 month call option for 100 shares in XYZ Limited and he purchased it at a premium of rupees 30 per share with an exercise price of 3, 550. He also purchased a 3 month put option for 100 shares of the same company at a premium of 5 rupees per share with an exercise price of 450. Okay, so a call 30 rupees 550 exercise price, put 5 rupee premium, premium 450 exercise price both 100 shares each both 3 months duration. The market price of the share on the date of Mr. A's purchase of options is 500. So, the strike price for call is 550, strike price for put is 450, but the market price on the date of the purchase of both the options is 500. Calculate profit or loss that Mr. A would make assuming that the market price falls to rupees 350 at the end of 3 months. Very, very simple question if you ask me. It's a simple one. Let us first enter the data and then we can get on with solving the problem. Okay. We will write here call option put option spot so spot for both of them is rupees 500 okay then strike price we can call it x or k or strike price or whatever it is for our uh, example here i am saying x okay x for call is 550 and for put is 450 okay then what is the type buy buy premium option premium is how much 30 rupees per share and put is 5 rupees per share it is 5 then number of shares number of options right call option for 100 shares number of shares per option 100 both cases 100 yes both cases 100 then expiry in months 3 months and 3 months excellent anything else okay we have the, all the data listed out very very clearly now calculate the profit or loss that mr a would make assuming that the market price falls to rupees 350 at the end of 3 months so we are supposed to calculate the profit or loss on both the contracts contract uh, call option buy what is the profit he'll make put option buy whatever is the profit that he'll make we have to figure that out okay so closing price is 350 correct closing price is 350 profit or loss how do you compute profit or loss it is you are not going to exercise the option because you are not going to exercise the option there is no payoff from the option that you are getting so it is actually zero in second case i uh, will put this in rupee zero rupees Whereas, in case of a put option, you have a right to sell it at 450 when the market price is 350. That is, even though the market price is 350, you have found one person or one gentleman or lady, whoever it is, another party who is agreeing to buy it from you for 450. What is a put option? Put option is a right to sell. So, you will exercise your right. If you exercise your right, what is the profit that you make? The profit that you make will be 450 minus 350. That will be 100 rupees, right? 450 minus 350. What will it be? It will be 100 rupees. So, let me write that as profit as 100 rupees. Okay. Now, what is the premium paid totally? Total premium paid is 30 plus 5, 35. Okay. So, what is the total premium paid? Total premium paid is 30 plus 5, 35. 35 is the premium paid. And what is the profit or loss total profit that you have got? 0 plus 100. That is 100 rupees. So, net payoff is 100 minus 35. That is 65 rupees. So, you will say 
profit or loss from options less premia of rupees 35 you will get net payoff of 65 so friends this is the payoff of an option for one share see what is the story here number of shares per option that is the lot size lot size is 100 so if you buy one call option or one put option you will enter into a transaction for buying or selling 100 shares if it's a put call option you have a right to buy 100 shares one call option 100 shares one put option right to sell 100 shares so that way the lot size 100 here denotes how many number of shares or do you have a right to buy or sell how many number of shares do you have a right to buy or sell because of call or put option respectively when you exercise those options that is this lot size so what we have found out here right if we have an option of one share this is the profit or loss that you make if you have a option that has a lot size of one share you this is the profit or loss that you make but here it is very clearly given that our lot size is 100 and you see what have we done here we have combined both you know what is the uh, inflow or outflow of both the call and uh, put and then arrived at uh, the net payoff net payoff for what here in fact we should write net payoff for one put plus one call option of one share each respectively okay so for one put plus one call this is the net payoff what is the lot size lot size is 100 so total net payoff for one call and one put with lot size of 100 shares each it will be a simple multiplication of 65 into 100 that will be 6500 let me put it in rupee form correct i will paste the same similar formatting okay answer is 6500 now i would suggest that you keep the lot size separately then multiply that is one way but if you are under fear or if you believe that you will forget this whole lot size uh, multiplication at the end of the problem you can directly do it at first level itself profit or loss from the options how did we get profit or loss you know we said in case of a call because the strike price is 550 and the spot is 350 the call will not be exercised and hence the 100 options or the option to buy 100 shares is useless so the buy call is zero when it comes to port because the price the strike price is 450 and you have a closing price at 350 you can still sell at 450 you can instead of writing 100 that is 450 minus 350 whatever is the profit because of the put option you can directly write 450 minus 350 into 100 so you can actually say is equal to 450 minus 350 into 100 okay so you will basically get 10,000 so I will just change the currency here it is appearing in dollar terms I will change it to rupee okay it will be 10,000 rupees then this number directly becomes 10,000 plus 0 which is 10,000 right then what about the premia how will you do the premia computation see the premia for each option if you look at the question right the premia is 5 rupees per share or 30 rupees per share so the premia will also be 35 into 100 30 into 100 plus 5 into 100 so you can do 35 into 100 and we copy the same formula or sorry same formatting it will be 10,000 and 35,000 so the net payoff you can directly say is 10,000 rupees minus 3,500 you will get 6,500 right so this is one way to do it or you can directly do it off where you know at the end you multiply by the lot size whichever way it is fine okay but if you are doing it this way then this you know the entire description will change you would rather say net payoff for one put plus one call option of 100 shares 
each respectively or respectively is not required you can directly say 100 shares each okay this is another way my suggestion is use uh, you know whatever you are comfortable with if you tend to forget lot sizes and all of that then don't follow you know then follow this method if you remember lot sizes then you know compute per option and then multiply by lot size you can do it that way we did the same thing in futures also okay so this is the answer for this particular problem it's a very simple one nothing complicated just you have to remember where to put what okay